It is absolutely beautiful out today. So, hello you guys. Um, I have a story time slash I really just want to show this video to my dad. And um, <laughs> you'll see why in a minute. So, many of you guys have been asking where do I live now or people are guessing I live with my parents. No, I do not. But I have a whole explanation of what's going on on my community post. So you guys, this car, I think it's a 69 Mustang. I think so. And my dad drove this car when he first started dating my mom. So I was four years old, about four, somewhere between four and six um, when they were dating. And I remember he used to come pick her up in this car. I thought he was the coolest looking guy. He had like this, he's Italian. So he has like a lot of hair and it's curly and it's beautiful. Um, now it's thinned out a little bit, but it, and he used to wear like this cool jacket and carry around a leather Bible and it would always be on the passenger seat of his car. And um, I just thought he was the coolest guy. And I remember being young, you guys, and like him taking me and my sister out like for ice cream or to dinner and driving around. And when we'd get out, like all the girls would fawn over his car. I remember that. Like, I feel like my whole life, everybody's had a crush on my dad anyways, but um. What happened was it got into a minor accident. Something happened and it needed a new engine. Well, the engine is over by the garage. I'll show you guys that later. Um, and it sat here since I was a kid until now, until now. And, and um, I don't know, he's talking about putting the engine in, selling it. And the amount of money that he said he would get honestly doesn't seem worth it to me. Like the memories, think of all the memories we can have <laughs> I don't know there's just so much more that this car has so much more life to it I just know it I don't want him to sell it I think it would be so cool if he fixed it up and drove it around again and felt awesome and um I know this car has been in the family because it was his uncle's so I'm making this video dad please don't sell your car <laughs> keep it like I have the best memories like I thought you were the coolest person every time you pulled up to take my mom out to dinner or every time like you took us out shopping in it I felt like the coolest kid in the world so I don't know I think you should fix it up I think you should give the grandkids some great memories um or you could give it to me and that would inspire me to go get my license again I just need to take my written test so <laughs> I got cleared because I haven't had any seizures in forever so I got medically cleared, you guys. I just literally have to take a written test. I don't know why I'm not, other than the fact I'm just not that big of a like driver. For, like, I don't know. Some people really love it. Some people find it freeing. I find it, um, it could be hell sometimes. <laughs> I get, especially like, I get anxiety. I don't know, traffic, no. And there's always traffic in California. Eh. I don't know. But maybe if I had an awesome car like this, maybe maybe i would <laughs> i don't know do you guys have any cool memories like that like i don't know of like your husband your boyfriend your best friend like picking you up in just like a really cool car your dad your mom your grandma i know some grandmas have like awesome cars it's just i don't know i don't want it to go away anyways you guys i'm trying to let you guys in more on my life like and get to know me a little bit um it's a process. I was scared um, for a while, but like, honestly, I am who I am. And if people are going to judge me, like that's on them, not me. Right. I'm hoping my story will help people one day. Um, so I'll continue to share and let me know if you like videos like this, where I just like talk, let you in on some like memories. Um, I'm so excited to do the kitchen remodel next week. <sighs> the gifts of sobriety, you guys, are just incredible and amazing, and it takes time. I didn't get sober, and everything happened for me, right, like, all at once. You know, it's over five years now, and things are just starting to fall together and come together. And have I been impatient? Kind of. But, like, the wait is so worth it. It's so worth it. If you feel like drinking or using today, just know, like, you have such better times ahead. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. I'll talk to you guys soon. I am going live later tonight. Bye.